Hey y'all, it's me, Laura Burns. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, here are your jazz hands. Welcome. Okay, so updates. We are here. <laughs> We're here for another Dia & Co style box, and um, I have been enjoying the experiment of, once I realized that they had a new feature where you could kind of go through and say, you know, oh, I like this, I like this, I like this, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing things like this in my future boxes. Um, we've had one so far, the last one, uh, that they would have had time to have seen my input so this is the second one so it's very exciting um so we'll see and i've had really good luck with dia style boxes for a while now i feel like in the beginning it was a little rough <laughs> but it's been like a year a year now that i've been getting dia and co style boxes and they've definitely gotten a lot better i know that it's not everyone's cup of tea not everybody likes the styles that they send but what's important is what i think because it's my box and i have to say that I have been consistently um, happy with the boxes that I'm getting. The clothes, uh, for the most part, that I have been sent are things that appeal to me. Even if I don't keep it, I might like it or appreciate it. Um, and if you're new to my channel, then um, you might not know, like, why do I even want to get this? So I don't like shopping out in the world. Um, there are very few brick and mortar stores that I could go to that would have my size. Um, and clothes that I want to wear. <laughs> um, online, like I do a lot of online shopping and have for a while, and so um, I kind of know what's out there, so it's fun to have people curate a box and send it to me. I don't have to go anywhere, I don't have to be out in crowds. Um, I have chronic illnesses, so if I don't feel well, then it's really nice to like get a fun box in the mail and get to try them on, and I really like making these videos, so. <laughs> um, just a little recap. Oh, I do have an announcement. Um, it's not about the style box, but it is about the Dia Active box. If you watch my videos, then you may have seen um, my Dia Active try on boxes. And my last video, I was like, y'all, what do I do? I need your input. I need your help. Um, and I've made a decision about the Active box. And the decision is that I canceled it. So I did go ahead and cancel my Dia Active box for reasons that uh, if you've seen my videos then you know and if you haven't seen those videos then go and check them out and you can find out. Um, and what I'm excited about is what I, okay, what I was hoping for from the Active box was to be exposed to new brands um, and styles that maybe I wouldn't choose for myself. Um, and so I want to keep trying to do that but I would like to also focus on um, smaller brands and especially things that are made in the US because um, that's kind of important to me and a lot of the clothes stuff that I do, it's not possible because I just don't make that many clothes for my size in a style that I want in the US. So um, if I could, I would only buy clothing made in the United States but um, and for from uh, companies that treat their workers ethically and pay them a living wage, um, it's very difficult to do that and there are a few companies doing that, but honestly, like, I don't love their clothes, which is a, really a bummer. <laughs> um, anyway, so I will continue to do videos about activewear, so if you like those videos, you like activewear, um, then you can check those out, and it'll just be a little different now, and if you don't like that, well, just keep watching these kind of videos. Okay, sorry for the aside, we're going to get started. Um, I have my note from the box. And I have to tell you, my stylist got switched on me. So it says, hi, Laura. I'm so glad you enjoyed the pieces that Aaron chose for you. I'm sorry to say he's unavailable this round, but I'm really excited to get a chance to style for you. I'm a devoted yogi as well, though not a teacher. And I love, love, love your Instagram page, exclamation point. For this box, I focused on beautiful dresses with one skirt and a top to go with it. I had asked for that. I said, please don't send me any pants. Um, the sleeveless fit and flare is in vibrant colors with a fun and funky print, while the ruffle hem dress will be especially cool with colorful yoga pants like a bright pink. I also have a gorgeous casual maxi for you in asymmetrical stripes. The A-line dress is another one tailor-made to layer over leggings, playfully mixed prints with the purple zipper pocket 
T. If you have any questions, blah, 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 I hope you enjoy, exclamation point, let me know what you think. Danielle, new stylist, Danielle. So we've had Aaron for a really long time, and he does a, you know, a good job, but I am kind of excited to have somebody else, just, you know, fresh perspective. Um, I have to say, this is the first time anyone from Dia has ever mentioned looking at my Instagram um, and referencing um, the fact that I only wanted dresses and like skirts and stuff like that, that I didn't want any pants for a while. Um, so I'm feeling very heard and validated. <laughs> Thank you, Danielle. Um, so I'm excited. We're going to jump in. I've been talking a lot already in this intro. Um, so let's just, let's see the clothes. So here I am in the first dress. This is from the brand In Every Story, which is new to me. I don't think that I've ever seen that brand before. It is very <laughs> stretchy. So let me just say, you know, how I am with sizing. I'm going to show you the whole thing in a second. I just want to get you a good look at the color. Well, when I stretch it, it's a little see-through. But So it's shades of blue. We've got royal kind of a teal color and then black and white. There's a little detail here. All right. It's got a little skinny self belt here, um, which is very long. So you could have a big drapey thing or you can actually probably wrap it around again and have like multiple strappy things. It has um, little loops here for the belt, which I like because on me, everything wants to end up here. So it probably will anyway, but at least it helps keep it down a little bit so the whole thing doesn't end up up here. All right, and it is a maxi. Oh, you can't see my feet. <laughs> Hold on. So oh, here we go. We've got slit over here, no slit over there. So there's one slit. It is a good length for me. OMG, can you believe? <laughs> <laughs> this maxi dress is actually right. So if you're tall, this is going to end up being, you know, a little shorter for you. But if you are not so tall, <laughs> this is a dress that could actually work without having to be altered, which is nice. So it's just kind of a column. It is, I mean, so, so stretchy. Look at this. So if you are larger, you could get in. It would have a different kind of shape, you know, because it would be tighter on your body. Um, so there is some asymmetrical situation going on with the pattern. So here we have stripes this way, there we have stripes that way. Um, it's very soft, the material seems nice. It's lightweight. So I could totally see me wearing this, you know, when it gets warmer. Here's from the back. All the way around. So it has some nice movement here. I'm really glad that it has this slit Although, honestly, I wish that it had one on both sides because my legs get hot. Uh, so I honestly prefer to wear maxis not in the summer. I know that's when everybody pulls their maxis out, but I like to wear maxis like in the fall and spring or even in the winter because uh, I find that it gets hot underneath. So the maxis that I do wear in the summer are the ones where air can get through and then I don't get like sweaty, gross legs. Um, but I also live in a very hot place and run hot anyway, so... Here we go. I'm just going to look in the mirror. Yeah, I think this is really pretty and cute. And I would totally wear it. Um, I like how the stripes come together on the side. I have to say, they match, 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 match. They stop matching. The stripes between here and here stop matching. So that's annoying. <laughs> they match down here, but not up here. What about this side? And they don't match at all on this side. So that won't bother me, but I know that there are some people who it would drive them crazy. So I'm just saying it <laughs> so that you know. Anyway, so that is this dress. It's a 4X from In Every Story. And um, yeah, I mean, I like it. It's nice. I really, <laughs> I really enjoy um, royal blue and have kept a few things in 2018 that are this color. So I've kept an active top. I kept a Rebel Wilson um, dress. I think that was from a trunk club trunk. Um, so I'm happy to see this color story. Uh, it is something that I've added a little more to my wardrobe. I feel cute in it. It's very comfortable. I mean, honestly, I could wear this as like a nightgown and be totally happy. Um, so yeah, okay, fun. Let's keep going. 
So next I'm here in a Sabrina blue dress. And um, I, we've had a similar vibe dress from them before. This is a 4X. Um, I think maybe last box or the box before, it was like the big like medallion print. It was kind of like one big circle and then another big circle here. It just reminds me of this. Um, but like, you know, in a good way. The color story was very different. I don't know if it had this like defined darker waist. I don't remember, but so here we go. It's hitting about knee length. Again, really stretchy and comfortable. Um, this material is that kind of, it's definitely poly. Uh, I think it's like a poly spandex. And I actually really like this, though I love natural fibers and <laughs> really try to buy clothes that are natural fibers. I also have a place in my heart for this kind of material because in the summer when it's super hot and I'm just like sweaty, like my back were to sweat in this, you can't see it. And it dries really quickly because it's this kind of material. So I do appreciate this. There's a gnat. Um, if you live in a hot place like me, you probably understand what I'm talking about. And so I like garments like this as long as they're like sleeveless and short. So you still get, you know, air moving and it's breathable. So this is really pretty. I'm going to come close so you can see. More shades of blue, green, black. Really pretty. I love the little contrasting but complementary trim. Okay. Backing up. Here's from the side. From the back. So yeah, this is a really cute little dress. Just going to take a look here. I think it's nice. I would wear this. I think it feels, um, I don't know, like springy summery <laughs> um, but I think you could also throw on like black tights and like ankle boots or something and like totally transition this like to fall um, or really Houston winter because it's winter right now and it is like tank top weather so all right cute so far so good I am liking all the things all right here I am in the next dress this is another one from in every story also in a size 4x so we've got black with white like leaves, uh, almost palm frondy, um, little short sleeves, little v-neck, and it's an interesting cut because this is something that I don't usually get sent. There's no defined waist at all, not even a seam here. It's a straight down, and at the bottom here, there's a little ruffle, so it's probably... I don't know, four or five inches long ruffle at the bottom, which is kind of cute. So this is super casual. This is the one I think she was like, throw this on over your yoga leggings. Um, and actually, I can totally see this as a great like, okay, I just had class or something. Let me just throw this on. So I'm not wearing like active wear running around town. Um, but I can, I don't have to like fully change, you know, I could like pull off my top, throw this on over whatever bralette and yoga pants I'm wearing throw my Birkenstocks on and like be done with it. Um, so I think it's cute. It's very comfortable. It is very stretchy. So that is nice. Um, I like it. You know what? If you sized down or if you were in a larger body and bought this size, um, this would be tighter to the body. It would also still look really cute just as more of like a bodycon kind of look. So I like that... Um, it could kind of go different ways depending on the size that you bought. Anyway, the material feels really soft. It's very simple, but very cute, casual, comfortable. Like, if you really like a defined waist, just put a little belt on over it. And then, boom, there you go, defined waist. I actually really appreciate garments that aren't all about, like, you know, pulling it in at your waist. There's, like, this whole way of thinking about dressing and especially with uh, plus size clothing for women you know we're always just told like you know pull it in at the waist you know it's always about like emphasizing the waist and I think that's really problematic because number one why is this like the feminine ideal of having this waist like that and also not everybody has that waist and so kind of forcing people to try and have that waist doesn't feel great to me. So I'm not saying that you shouldn't want to show off your waist. Like if that feels good to you, do it. But if you feel like you have to do that to like be cute or to like be dressed and you know, whatever, like fit in with the trends, like 
I just encourage you to maybe take a chance on a garment that doesn't do that and just see how it feels. I used to super subscribe to that. Everything I bought was like, you know, suck it in at the waist and pull it in because you want to have that shape and everybody always compliments on that shape and it just feels bad to me. So when I started allowing myself to buy garments that maybe went straight down or to wear like more voluminous silhouettes that weren't all about pulling it in at the waist, it was very freeing and empowering for me and has been kind of an important part of my personal um, body positive journey, uh, you know, th through clothes and through deciding how I um, present my body to the world. And if that does not resonate for you or with you, that's totally fine. It doesn't have to. I'm just throwing it out there. If somebody, you know, hears that and, and maybe it resonates with you, give it a shot. Or if you've been through the same thing, comment below. Tell me like, hey, I did that too and it felt really good. Um, or I tried it and I didn't like it. That's cool too. Um, Y'all know I have to say my piece about stuff. Anyway, so this is cute and comfortable. Like... Honestly, I would totally wear this because I like um, clothes that feel like pajamas and this for sure feels like pajamas to me. Like I could wear this as a night shirt, definitely lounge wear for me, 100%. Anyway, it's cute. I like the little ruffle at the bottom. It gives it some nice movement. Okay, <laughs> that's the last dress. I've got a skirt and a top. I'll be right back. I'm back with our last pieces. So they're actually both from the same company. Uh, the brand is Prescott, New York. They're both in a size 4X. So this is a purple and white blouse. It has a cute zipper pocket here. That's real, it's an actual pocket. You know sometimes companies just like stick a zipper on things and then you try to open it and you're like, this goes to nothing. Or you can't even unzip it. <laughs> this is a real pocket, it was the first thing I did. I was like, does it work? It's a real pocket. So this is um, like kind of a chalet material and it's got just a baby amount of stretch. But that's very exciting for me because it means that, so it fits on my body and when I sit down and I expand, it still fits. <laughs> Which for me is a big deal because when I get these beautiful woven things that don't stretch and they go over my belly and hips, I sit down and they no longer fit. So it's very exciting. I actually could wear this blouse and it's really cute. Um, I like it a lot. I would wear this. Now she put this and this skirt together, which I don't know that I would wear together. She said, you know, a little pattern mixing, which I get, and I'm all for pattern mixing. I don't know if I love these patterns mixed together, but that's okay. Um, y'all, this skirt. Look at this skirt. It is so cute. Little black and gray animal print moment here. Here's from the side. It's stretchy. It's cute. I like the length a lot. Um, you know, I have it pulled up to my natural waist, which is where I wear my skirts, and it's hitting me just above the knee. Um, it is longer than my bike shorts, which is great, so my bike shorts are not sticking out, which I appreciate. Um, it's just cute. Now this skirt, I could see me wearing with a ton of different stuff. I could like dress it up. I could keep it casual. I could wear this in the winter with leggings or tights and boots, or I could wear it like in the summer with little sneakers or flats or my Birkenstock sandals. I am into this skirt, y'all. So cute. Okay, and um, I probably would wear it since I wear my skirts so high waist. I like to tuck them into things because I think that's a good proportion for my body. So while I maybe wouldn't pair it with this particular shirt, I do um, think that it would look cute with a little blouse tucked in or whatever, a tank top, whatever. I wish this blouse were in a different pattern or color because I really like it a lot. Um, but I'm thinking of the things that I would want to wear it with, it wouldn't go with any of them. <laughs> like even if it were a solid color um, or just not purple, I don't know, it's so cute. So I really like both of these pieces, but this shirt, the color's not gonna work for me. Um, I might write a note asking if they have it in any other colors because it's very cute. And this skirt I'm super into. Um, the only skirts that I own right now are skater skirts. 
Um, and I own one like super bodycon longer pencil skirt. So I don't have anything like this. Um, so I might need to have it in my wardrobe, maybe. We'll see. We'll see, because I like, oh, everything in the box. I don't know. You like my bad dancing? All right. Okay. <laughs> um, let me get the prices, and I'll be back. I'm back with the prices. Okay. <clears throat> Here's what Danielle B. handpicked for me. If you liked this, if you want to ask for my stylist, her name is Danielle B. Okay. So the zipper pocket tee, size 4X, $49. The skirt, size 4X, $59. The Sabrina blue v-neck uh, blue and green dress, 4X, $69. The In Every Story Ruffle Hem black and white dress, 4X, $58. The first dress, the long blue maxi, 4X, uh, navy and royal blue. Maybe those stripes then I guess were a navy, not a black, uh, $65. So if I bought everything together, oh look, it's an even $300 minus a $20 styling fee, minus 25% off if you buy everything. So the grand total for the box, if you kept everything, would be 205 for five pieces. So if you uh, loved everything, you could do that. Um, I do like everything that I tried on. I do not need to keep everything that I tried on. Y'all know, especially like this kind of started a few months uh, <laughs> a few months ago towards the end of 2018, but really in 2019, I'm only going to keep stuff that I'm really excited about. I don't want to lukewarm purchase. I don't want to just fill my closet, which is very small, um, with stuff that I think is cute at the time, but then I never wear. Um, I'm like, I'm being hardcore about it. I am getting rid of things that I don't wear, even if they're so cute and I never wore them and I paid a lot for them. I'm not keeping these things. So 2019 is, so 2018 was like my big craft purge year. 2019 is clothes purge year. I want to build a wardrobe that I love the clothes and I'm like so excited to put the clothes on. Um, cause I deserve to like feel super cute every time I get dressed. And I, that has not been the case for me. Um, and I also deserve to wear the cute clothes that I buy instead of just like looking at them like, no, I'll just wear the same old thing that I've been wearing like 800 times already. Y'all feel me? Anyway, so um, I'm keeping that skirt because I love it and it looks so cute and I don't have anything like it. And when I put it on, I felt excited and I felt really cute and um, I have a bunch of tops I can wear with it. I can wear it during different times of the year. I'm pumped. Uh, I'm really close to also keeping that maxi, the blue maxi. Oh, it's so pretty. But I just don't wear maxi dresses that much. And I already have um, like three maxi dress, four maxi dresses. I forgot one that I've, two that I've never even worn. So, oh, but if you liked that, you should get it because it's really cute and comfortable. Um, and I'm going to ask if they have the zipper pocket tee and other colors because I did like it a lot. <sighs> okay. Whew. It's getting warm in here. <laughs> All right, y'all. So um, that was my box. What did you think? I thought it was great. I, you know, I'm like, <sighs> I really want to keep both of those things that I said, but I'm only going to keep the skirt because I don't need another maxi right now. Um, and there are always more cute clothes. Here's the thing. Sometimes I'm like, oh no, I gotta keep this. But there are always, always more cute clothes that they will send me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, tell me what you thought of this box in the comments. What do you think of the skirt that I'm keeping? Um, are you like, you're an idiot. You should have kept the blue dress or one of the other things. Tell me in the comments below. It's interesting like what I choose for myself and then what other people would choose for me. Um, that's always a really interesting thing to see when people are like, oh, I like this on you because of XYZ. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even like think about that or pay attention to that. Um, so yeah, I love those comments and I guess that's it. So Danielle B, great job. I think I'm just going to ask to stay with her and we'll give her some boxes and see how she does. I like that she's a yogi. I like that she looked at my Instagram and told me, you know, makes me feel like she cares and she was like let me check this girl out um and that she's thinking about my lifestyle i love that she was like you know throw this on over your yoga leggings thank you 
I would love to do that. Um, oh, now I want to keep that. No. Focus. Don't look at the pile. Look straight ahead at the camera. Um, okay. Well, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope that you feel loved and supported. And I'm sending you love and support. I'm so happy to have you here in this community. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.